Okay, in November I read, Unlock Your Storybook Heart. Hello everyone! Today I'm going to go through every single book I read and my ratings and whether I liked it or not. Let's get started. I actually don't know where my books are. Like, what's what? Where's where? This is going to be interesting. This is going to be fun. Honestly, why did I do this? Ugh! This is like, this is like double work for me. Okay, I just spent the last maybe 40 something minutes to an hour picking out each book that I've read each month so that I can show you. Let's just get right into it. Okay, first book I read this year is Throttled by Lauren Asher, five stars. Then I read Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover, five stars as well. Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, I gave it a four star. The first and second book in the Maid series, I gave them both a four stars. Collide by Lauren Asher, five stars. Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, four stars. Never Get Angry by David Lieberman. I give this a five star. The One by Kira Cass. This is a four star. And then I read The Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks. I borrowed from my coworker. I give that a five star. Okay, in February, I read the last book in the Maid series. I give this a one star because it dis disturbed me. Then I read Change Up by Lacey Hart. I gave this a two star. Then I read Court by Tracy Wolf. I gave this a four star. Okay, in March, I read Twisted Love by Anna Hong. And I originally gave this a five star, but I changed my rate to a three. I didn't like it as much. Okay. Then I read Terms and Condition by Lauren Asher, five stars. Then I read Wrecked by Lauren Asher, five stars as well. Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover, five stars. The Inheritance Game by Jennifer Barnes, four stars. Okay, in April, I read The Mind Series by St. Abby's, five stars. Best dark romance ever, by the way. I read Redeemed by Lauren Asher, five stars. The Hawthorne Legacy um, by Jennifer Barnes, four stars. Crescent City 2 by Sarah J. Mask, five stars. But the ending killed me. The Chaos of Longing by K.Y. Robinson, five stars. Okay, in May, I read The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. I think I said that right, five stars. The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren, five stars. Twisted Games by Anna Huang, five stars. Thrive by Kristen Becker Ritchie, five stars. Corrupt by Penelope Douglas, zero stars. Okay, my June reads from Luke Off with Love by Marina Zapata, four stars. Love Maybe by Heather Hepler, five stars. Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur, five stars. Shine Your Icy Crown by Amanda Lovelace, five stars. Heart Bones by Colleen Hoover, five stars. Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren, five stars. Twisted Hate by Anna Hong, five stars. And on the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, four stars. Mr. Wrong Number by Lynn Painter, five stars. Malibu Rising by Taylor Reed, four stars. And Book Lovers by Emily Henry, five stars. Okay, in July, I read Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas and I read it online. I gave that a uh, three stars. One True Loves by Taylor Reed, five stars. Stealing Infinity by Allison Noel, this is three stars. Hard to Forgive by Ellen Reed, this is a star, one star. The American Roommate Experience by Alina Armaz, five stars. Addicted After All by Kristen Becker Ricci, five stars. And The Dark King by Gina Maxwell, five stars. In August, I read the first and second book in the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy. I gave them both a three stars. Then I read The Liar's Crown by Abigail Owen. This is a five star read for me. The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi again, five stars. I actually do love her poetry books. Then I read Am I Allergic to Men by Kristen Bailey, two stars. Twisted Lies by Anna Hong. I originally gave this a five star, but it ended up being a four star after I processed it. The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams, three stars. Then I read Good Girl Complex by L. Kennedy Online, and I gave that a three stars. This is September's books. It's a lot. It's the most books I've ever read in an entire month. Oh my god. Okay, I read the last book in the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy. I gave this a three stars. Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. Three stars. Very disappointed in that one. Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. Three stars. Also very disappointed. Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. This is my favorite book of the year. Loved it. I gave this a hundred million zillion stars. Loved it so much. 
Then I read Last Chance Books by Kelsey Rothke. I gave this a four stars. After I do it by Taylor Reed, I gave this a four stars. Please Love Me at My Words by Michaela Angemer. I don't know how to say her last name, but this is a five star. The Summer Broken Rules by K.L. Wal Walter. Walter. Um, five stars because Taylor Swift. Swimming Lessons by Lily Reinhardt. Uh, four stars. Ew, Verity by Colleen Hoover, three stars. Break Your Glass Slippers by Amanda Lovelace, four stars. Where the Crawdat Sings by Delia Owens, uh, four stars. The Final Gambit by Jennifer Barnes, two stars. What a disappointment that was. And then I read the first and second book in the Zodiac Academy series. I am in pain, but I gave them both a five star. These books are by Caroline Peckman and Suzanne Valentine. Go read it. They're really good. But you might be in pain, so... Yeah. I read Better Than the Prom, which is a small little short story by Lynn Painter to Better Than the Movies. Five stars. I love that one. Then I read Feel the Fire by Krista and Becca Ritchie. Five stars. I love Conway Rose. I will do anything for them. A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica Murphy. This was such a disappointment. Two stars. It's Start With Us by Colleen Hoover. Five stars. Hideaway by Penelope Douglas. I gave this a two star because of Banks. But the series just keeps getting worse and worse, to be honest. And then I read the third and fourth book in the Zodiac Academy series. Both five stars. I'm still in pain. I'm still in recovery. Okay, in November I read Unlock Your Storybook Heart by Amanda Lovelace. Five stars. Accidentally Amy by Lynn Painter. Not her best book. I gave it a four star. King of Wrath by Anna Hong. Kinda disappointed in this, but it was good. It got me out of my reading slump. I gave it a four star. Forever Interrupted by Taylor Reed. Saddest book. Five stars. Water Under the Bridge by Kels and Denise Stone. Um, three stars. I really expected a lot. Okay, then I listened to a couple of books. I listened to a few Colleen Hoover books. The first one I listened to was Layla. Um, one star. I'm not sure how I feel about that book, honestly. Then I listened to Confess. Four stars. Then I listened to Regretting You. Five star. Oh my god, that was... That was painful. Okay, then I listened to Evidence of the Affair by Taylor Reed. I gave that a three stars. I listened to A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett St. Clair. I gave that a one star. I expected a lot more from that book. Then I listened to Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I gave that a three stars. I honestly expected a lot from that book. It had so much potential. Then I listened to Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Reed. I gave that a three stars. I honestly... I loved it, but I felt like it was just like lacking a bit. Then I listened to Deviant King by Rena Kent, my first Rena Kent book, and I actually listened to it and I think I regretted it, but I gave it a one star. Okay, December. These are the only two physical books that I read. First one is Charm by Tracy Wolf. I waited two years for this book, five stars. Then I listened to Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Reed. I gave it a two stars. I honestly, it was so repetitive, but <clears throat> then I read Catmere Academy, an insider guide by Tracy Wolf. Gave that a five stars. It had deleted scenes from the Crave series, which I absolutely love. Then I listened to The Temporary Roomie by Sarah Adams, one star. Then I listened to If the Shoe Fits by Julie Murphy, three stars. Then I listened to Normal People by Sally Rooney, one star. And then the last book I read this year is Dating Dr. Dill by Nisha Sharma, four stars. Whew. Okay, so that is my yearly reading wrap up and possibly my last video for 2022. I am exhausted just by doing that. I'm hoping my taste improve by next year because wow just wow. I don't think I'm going to set a goal for next year because I felt like I was rushing to like reach this goal and I was not enjoying the books that I was reading because I just wanted to finish it, to finish a goal. And I felt like I would read anything, literally anything, and that's why I've read so many horrible books this year. I have to go clean this mess up now. I really don't want to deal with this, but this is what I'm currently dealing with um wish me luck i have to put everything back thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next year bye